This is a skull of a modern human, and this is from a Neanderthal. Look closely and you can see that this one has a slightly longer brain case. Most scientists believe that these are two separate species, and there wasn't much interaction between the two. But now we know there was interbreeding, and that all non-Africans living today are part Neanderthal. book called The Tribe. It diagrammed every people, major people on the earth, searching for a piece of turf for themselves. It left out the African people because the other people, including Asian imperialists, have planned to take over Africa. There have been several articles in the New York Times advocating the recolonization of Africa. This book and other literature of this nature need to prepare the world to accept a rationalization for the re-enslavement of Africa. According to the black, uh, well, I guess the general story is that the so-called Dravidian race was African and The invading Aryans were white, and the whites invaded India and took over and subjugated the Dravidians and created the caste system. Um, yeah, no, that's not true at all. And according to the Euro Center, this is Europeans something to be proud of because they conquered ancient India, according to them. Uh, 
but frankly both the black and the white were the same idea. Ever having belonging. Ever having belonging.